FCC Commissioner Brennan Carr rang the alarm bells on TikTok a while ago to deaf ears at both Apple and Google. Good to see you, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you. Uh, what's it going to take? Yeah, this is deeply concerning. You know, look, I've been tracking this TikTok issue for obviously a number of, of months at this point. Uh, I've been used to pretty disturbing revelations about their conduct, but this most recent one really took me by surprise and sort of took me back. This revelation that they have the capacity and the desire from a Beijing-based team to be tracking uh, multiple individual Americans. We don't know who those identity is from this reporting, uh, but it's very, very concerning. And TikTok once again put out a non-denial denial. And, you know, there's been about four or five different scandals that really operate as a knockout blow to TikTok from a national security perspective. And it's time for the ref to blow the whistle. And that ref is the U.S. government. The Biden administration has been looking at this issue now for about 18 months. Uh, and frankly, if you ask me, it, it strikes me that a lot of these reports that we're seeing uh, must be leaks from inside the Biden administration. My guess is there's probably an internal fight right now between what we consider economic uh, portions of the administration that want uh, good trade relations and don't want to disrupt um, supply chain into China and the national so, so security is... components of the Biden administration that think it's time that we've got to take concrete action here. Well, and what's interesting, I think, is you tried to take concrete action by going to Apple and Google and saying, look, it is, there's clear and convincing evidence that TikTok violates the App Store rules. Apple and everybody else has rules for what their apps do, uh, and TikTok clearly violates them, yet Apple and Google don't take action. Are they just as scared of the Chinese as the Biden administration is? Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, both those companies obviously have... Uh, extremely deep supply chains into China, Apple in particular. And you're right, there is a threshold national security threat here that the government needs to act on. But Google and Apple also should be stepping up to the plate here. As you noted, uh, they have terms of service that say if you're in our app store, you can't have nefarious data flows, you can't have data being used for undisclosed purposes. And yet, with this reporting, we see that's exactly what's taking place. So I do think it's time to return to Apple and Google and say, apply your app store policy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and boot TikTok from the App Store. I think there's very little room left here for business as usual to continue with TikTok. And this was just another new report that came out that TikTok, separate from this, uh, has pixels on websites all over the place, including uh, Rite Aid Pharmacy, the Girl Scouts, that when you so visit it, be, you put uh, information on those websites, it's I, going back to TikTok. I, I hate to interrupt you, but I want to read their statement. Forbes declined to include our direct statement that disproves the feasibility of its core allegations. The TikTok app does not collect precise GPS location, although it could collect other location data. So uh, one de non-denial denial, denial uh, from U.S. users, meaning TikTok could not monitor U.S. users in the way the article suggested non-denial denial. TikTok has never been used to target any members of the U.S. government, activists, public figures, or journalists, nor do we serve them a different content experience from other users, like four non-denial denials in one. Uh, but if you are just a normal, everyday citizen, you're not a journalist, you're not communicating with dissidents, you're not uh, communicating about national security matters, uh, you're, you're living your life and your, your 15, 16, 17-year-old kids going to school has TikTok on their phone, why should you care? Yeah, I think there's a number of reasons. One, once you have TikTok on your phone, uh, the reporting is that all sorts of data is being sent back to Beijing. That's keystroke uh, patterns, search and browsing history, location information. Second is basically a foreign influence campaign, which is to say they can deliver all sorts of content uh, right to you. And we've been seeing that's been linked to everything from you know body uh, and mental health issues among young girls to potentially being used to sway people's views when it comes to politics. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.